Whitstable, renowned for its succulent oysters, is also home to a hidden gem, Intake Engineering. Now, in recent years, this company have fallen victim to inefficient production processes due to aging machinery and multiple component operations, putting a strain on the whole business. However, with significant investment in sliding head machines, they breathe new life into the facility. So today I'm here to meet Nick, a former fixed head turner who is now leading the shop floor and working on these star machines himself. Nick, you've had quite a journey here, haven't you? Yes, I have, yeah. <laughs> You have. So what, how did you transition from fixed to sliding head machine? Um, when we invested in the new machines, we had um, star provided training. Um, so I went from that to these uh, with three day training, which was a good help, yeah. a massive help. So who did the training? What did that consist of? Because it's quite a big leap. I've heard other companies go through yeah. a similar journey that you have. Yeah, oh. uh, so Chaz came down um, and showed us how to set the machine from setting the tools on the, uh, the diner at the bar uh, to the tensioning of the guide bush and the collets and uh, and basically how to program it as well. Chaz from Starb is quite well known, isn't he? You know, he helps. I've heard him help a lot of companies in terms of training. After the training, I think we got a job, came in, had to have engraving on the, on the sub spindle. So I sent him an email, asked me if the machine's capable of engraving. He said, yep. Yeah. Um, he sent me the, and literally sent me the custom macro straight down and up, a, up it went. Do you need help like that? Do, is that something that's really important to you? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I can, if there's, if I'm stuck on something, um, then I'll, and, and I need an answer, I'll email Chaz or I'll just email someone at Star and they'll send uh, an, an answer back within a few hours. And why did you go for this? Because this is the Type B, is the latest yeah. model of machine. Uh, we went for this because of the, the, the added facility of the uh, eight stations on the sub spindle. So it gives us more capabilities of, uh, on the back working um, over the normal, which, and it's got a Y axis as well. So. Is it making your life easier then? Oh yeah, a hell of a lot, yeah. Because uh, it gives us the, the, the facility of doing more on the sub spindle um, and, and as well as doing stuff on the main. But also with the Step Cycle Pro, that helps as well massively. So, what are the benefits of having the Step Cycle Pro for you as a company and and for the components that you're producing? Um, it's the swarf management. Um, when when the swarf uh, the Step Cycle Pro is on, the swarf is chips. Uh, you get a nice chip flow rather than um, without the Step Cycle on. You get a long string stringy swarf, which could get wrapped around the component that you're machining. So this is without the Step Cycle Pro and the swarf is coming off in cur curly swarf, um, which can cause issues with um, build up on the component when it's being machined. Now we've got the Step Cycle Pro on and as you can see, the swarf is now coming off in chips, which means the machine's gonna be running for a longer period of time without having to stop to remove swarf. Uh, so we've been using Trent Oil, uh, Star 512. Um, it, runs clear so you can see what you're machining easily um, it keeps the, the the window clear rather than it going yellow um, it keeps the inside reasonably clean as well uh, it's, it's, it's good oil but you've got you've got two new machines here how does that affect you and the team because surely you see it differently now yeah so if if a job comes in it's got quite a lot of uh, complex turning milling um, that requires a lot of work especially on the sub spindle then that's um, but the bar capacity obviously can go on this machine. That job will get scheduled predominantly for this SR20B yeah. um, because of the, the, the back working and the, the sub spindle and the main spindle working. So you quoting differently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will be it would be predominantly quoted for this machine um, because of that, uh, especially the complexity of, of components. Where was the company before and where are you today? What would you say are the main differences? Um, when I first started, um, we had a lot of very old machines. So a lot of the stuff was coming off machines that had to be second ops. Um, in the short time I've been here with the two, two new machines, we've now got every machine on the sliding head is all sub spindle work. So there's no second op working. So it's job comes off the machine, inspection out the door. Would you recommend a machine like this to someone and why? Oh yeah, I would recommend this machine um, 100%. Um, because of what it can do, uh, the speed uh, and the versatility of it and the reliability and the backup and support. 